We all have heard of Adam and Eve, who according to the Bible, were the first couple of human beings created by God. But an ancient Jewish myth contests that Eve was the first woman. This myth states that, before Eve, there was another woman, Lilith. Unlike Eve, who came from Adam's rib, Lilith emerged from clay along with Adam. Since she was created by God in the same way as Adam, Lilith did not submit to her husband's commands because she thought she was equal to him and did not accept Adam's domination. Lilith and Adam inhabited the Garden of Eden, but Lilith's rebellion put her in a situation where she was forced to choose between submitting to her husband or leaving the Garden of Eden. Lilith was not willing to give up her independence, therefore she opted to leave Adam and the Garden of Eden behind. The first woman ever created went into exile and settled herself near the Red Sea. God sent angels in an attempt to convince Lilith to return to the Garden of Eden, but she turned her back on God. Without his wife, Adam started to feel lonely. God, seeing that he was struggling with loneliness, decided to create a new woman for him, Eve. Due to her decision to reject the creator, Lilith was demonized. She was now considered a woman-shaped demon. In her demonic shape, she would have the power to instigate disease in newborn children and to protect children from evil, the babies were given amulets with the names of the angels who tried to take Lilith back to Eden. These stories affirm that Lilith was jealous of the happy life Adam and Eve led in paradise, and as an act of revenge, she assumed the shape of a serpent and tricked Eve, forcing her and Adam to taste the forbidden fruit which caused the couple to be expelled from the paradise. Lilith's story is quite well known, yet this version is not present in the Christian Bible, and it is rejected by both Catholics and Protestants. The version in which she would have been Adam's first wife is found in the Sirach alphabet text. The date of the writings is unknown, but it is believed that they were created already in the medieval era. The myth of Lilith is found in Hebrew, Babylonian, Sumerian, and Assyrian mythology. The figure of Lilith in Mesopotamia was seen as an evil deity or, when associated with the moon, she was regarded as a goddess with different phases and therefore different moods. That way, she could be seen as a fertility goddess, but also as a devilish figure. There are theories that state that Lilith's absence from the Bible was created during the councils that defined the canonical books that would constitute the Bible as we know it today. The figure of Lilith as an independent and strong woman would go against the patriarchal structure one of the cornerstones of the Judeo-Christian culture. For this reason, Lilith was embraced by the feminist movement. She is often regarded as the first feminist. The movement claims that Lilith was unfairly demonized, like most women in our history who have attempted to defy the patriarchy. Whether as a demonic figure or as a symbol of women's struggle, Lilith's story is still the subject of much interest.